so this weekend we're doing a lot of stuff that I was about to post on Instagram and everything, but I realized that I never told y'all our big news. I didn't release a video about it yet because we haven't um, done all of the steps yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this together because it's hard to keep keeping it a secret anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to share with y'all everything that we're doing this weekend and our big news. Welcome to Permaculture Pastures. We're a hairstylist and a social worker who grew up in the suburbs and have no experience farming. So far we've learned everything we know from watching YouTube videos, asking a lot of questions, and a whole bunch of trial and error. Our son is what gives us our drive. He struggles with severe sensitivity to toxins in his food and environment, and this farm began as our journey to give him a better life. We are getting the fencing supplies and there's a raccoon in our shed, so now we're trying to get that out. So that was just really fun. We were in the shed getting like the fencing supplies and Ryan was bent over with his head like buried in the shelf looked up and he was eye to eye with the raccoon which thankfully it wasn't one that looked like it had rabies or anything and clearly it didn't for it to like just sit there but it's gone now <laughs> Y'all will probably be seeing this in about two weeks, um, but today we are inspecting fence lines on our new pasture lease so that we can get some more cows. Um, we try to do regenerative agriculture, holistic farming practices, um, and that involves not overgrazing your property. And so if we wanted to expand, we really need to have more pasture space. And so um, we have a sweet friend who is going to be leasing us their pastures. And it's a beautiful property. It has two ponds. It has two sides of access to this creek here. Um, and today we're just going around and inspecting fence lines because it's Saturday today. And I think Monday um, we're moving new cows onto the property.
have to tighten some of the top, well, a lot of this section. Tightening up some fence lines. The neighbor's bull, I guess, gets in on her property sometimes, so. This must be where he's jumping over. that this tool the texas fence stretcher makes him want to tighten all the fences because it's really fun <laughs> yeah. not not that fun huh? not that fun mm -hmm. oh. all right let's see that I need it. I need it. just a minute let daddy finish hold on back up Coming back to try and get in. I thought we found the spot where the bull was getting through, but there's also this giant hole and a mess of chain link fence. So. Typically how a cattle lease works is you're in charge of maintaining the property, um, the barns, the fences, and all of that. Um, so that's what we've been over here doing a lot of lately is fixing fences, removing some trash and things, and now fixing this barn. Honestly, I think that we got the lease pretty much because of Munchkin. Um, the owner and him are super close. There's like a whole honorary grandparent thing going on there. Um, so I'm pretty sure that he's why we got the lease. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, we're super grateful. It kind of just worked out really well. Um, we have a great relationship with the owner 
and um, it's like five minutes up the road like I said and the previous people leasing um, we're kind of taking advantage of it kind of seemed like they really overgrazed they didn't maintain the fences super well um, so we're hoping for it to be a mutually beneficial thing we get to use the land and in exchange um, we'll increase her property value maintain her fences regenerate her pastures so yeah that's that's the big news we have a new cattle lease um, 80 acres so now we're up to farming 240 acres which blows my mind it doesn't doesn't really feel real um, but we're going to be able to expand our beef operation we're gonna have a lot more cow halves and whole shares quarter shares that y'all can um, y'all will be able to purchase but um, mostly we're it's just exciting to find land that's close to us it's like five minutes down the road um, with pretty decent fences the perimeter fences are all good we spent a day fixing them as you saw um, but it's rested now for I think it's been a month now that um, the cows have been off and so we're gonna be putting some steers on here probably in the next week um, and that's what I had been waiting for but it's getting too hard we keep coming over here and doing stuff and it's getting too hard to not talk about it so I'm going ahead and posting this but yeah we're expanding our farm